Hello, hello, and welcome to Games Revisited. It's episode 64, and we're continuing our playthrough of Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2, The Sith Lords. We uh, knowingly walked into a trap, and we have been harvesting the XP. I mean, dealing with the people who think they can capture me. It's been interesting. All right, let's uh, continue on into the next room and go from there. Hi, guys. I hope you're better than the last room. All right, let's um, let's try to constrain the field of battle a little bit. All right, I don't see anybody else there, so let's go ahead and uh, start with this little guy. And on with the flurries, the furious flurries. Ooh, I could go for a snow furry flurry right now. Maybe a Dairy Queen flurry? Something with peanut butter. Yeah, definitely something with peanut butter. Some kind of flurry. All right, we'll 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 collect stuff from the bodies later. I, I don't have time to deal with a lot of that. All right, guys, which one of you is going to make it to me first? You're probably going to be closer, so let's go ahead and do this. I mean, honestly, I should probably deal with the guy who's clearly set up for melee, but you guys should be quick. I mean. If one of you guys would like to donate your force pipe to the uh, Jedi quest cause, uh, I wouldn't say no. I get a couple people I need to equip with some uh, two-handed weapons. No? Okay. Is that everybody there? That's everybody there. All right. Onward and forward, right? Oh. These guys want to try to sneak up behind me. Let's uh, deal with that first, shall we? I probably should be prioritizing targets, but it really doesn't seem like these guys are uh, doing too much to me. Come on. Let's cut them down. They killed again. Just to watch him bleed. Oh, is he... Did he try pulling another one of those stunner thingies on me? No? Alright, where are we at now? I'll see a bartender. Oh, I! I thought there was one more, you guys. Let's uh, deal with you since you're standing right here. The other guy's gonna sit there taking damage too. Oh, hey, you had a friend. Well, you should be low enough health that that gets finished up real quick. And away we go. Slice and dice. And I believe the room is now clear. Alright, so that dispenser is empty. There were no dead bodies in here. Oh, I hate these walkways. Um, surprisingly nothing around here. Okay, that dispenser is empty, no bodies. Seriously? Did, did nobody leave anything behind? Nope. Just one body. And he left a computer spike. That's... Like, seriously? You're telling me in a room that big? Not one of those fools, only one of those fools, had something on him? Come on. Alright, fine. Fine. I'll take your measly loot, because I don't have any other choice. Okay. And that's it for the chemicals. And now it's time to make our way to the last room, right? Yes, now we're about to go into the private lounge. Um, I'm not sure what's going to be in there. Uh, here's the other question. I'm at level 14. I can't prestige until 15. So, while well, I've got the opportunity, let's go ahead and level up real quick. Let's uh, do our usual skills allocation, computer use, and persuade and security, and treat injury, and throw another into awareness. 
Although if we had had that cranked up to 15, we could have solved that Gand quest sooner. Live and learn. Okay. And feats. We've already got the master two-weapon fighting. I don't think there are any medium armors that also allow you to use force powers. Matter of fact, the armor I'm wearing is the only light armor I found that does that. So, uh, not going to worry about that. I already got the master flurry. I might go ahead and do the master power attack just to have that handy. Um... I've already got the Weapons Focus Lightsaber. I'm not going to bother wasting a feat on Weapons Focus Melee just because I'm, I'm, when, once I get a lightsaber, what else am I really going to use? Am I really going to go ahead and, you know, once you get once you get a lightsaber, you never go back. Um, the Advanced Jedi Defense is kind of nice. It would help with the deflection rolls, but honestly, I think I got some better options. Uh, I don't remember what they are, though, because there was something else that I wanted to do. I think I wanted to make demolitions a class skill. Although, honestly, I, I don't have the points to keep dumping stuff into that. So I might uh, I might take Gearhead, just because I do use those skills enough. Conditioning is probably the better one, because that's going to give me a plus one to all saving throws. Uh, plus two, what's the top of the tree? Plus three. All right, uh, those bonuses to saving throws are really nice. I'm not going to mess with any of the other blaster stuff. Uh, wasn't there no, yeah, toughness. Toughness, uh, some extra hit points is always nice. And there we go. The improved toughness is the one that I, I was really wondering about because that means that you subtract 10% of any damage over 20 points suffered. And you still get a plus one uh, per level, plus one extra hit point per level. So, so basically you get a little bit of damage reduction for any damage over 20 points at a shot. So somebody hits you for 30, you take the initial 20, and then you knock another 10% off of the remaining 10. It's not much, but it adds up. It all adds up. Because the only other thing I can think of is regenerate force points would be a really good one to have right now. Um, mobility is kind of nice. Stealth run, I don't plan on using, but um, with all the running around you do, it's almost worth burning a feat just to make it less painful to run around. Um, but I'd rather get something a little more useful, like either regenerate force points or toughness. Let, you know we're burning through a fair number of force points right now, so let's try. Let's let's do the regenerate force points. And, uh, and then we'll do the toughness the next go-round, or maybe the power attack next go-round. I haven't been using the power attack. I probably should have against these guys. Um, I, yeah, we'll see. Okay. Ooh, and what powers do I get to level up? I don't get the upgraded heal yet. Master Valor would be nice, because um, all physical attributes and saving throws get bumped up by five points and immunity to poison. Which means that uh, as nice as the breath control is, this makes me immune to poison and gives me the bonuses. Well, it's only for 20 seconds. Um, I could also get the stasis field, which is nice. Oh, oh, no, force wave. That's one of the ones that I've been waiting for. All right, so I'll do the force wave first, and then I think I might do the valor after that. Um, although, a higher level stun... Because part of my problem is, is the existing stun is 5 plus character level plus wisdom and charisma. And that would bump it up to... No. Same save. Oh, oh, but it hits a group. Okay, it's a 10 meter radius of the target enemy. So it's that guy and people 10 around. Oh... That, that's kind of nice. But this is going to knock everybody within 15 meters of me back five. Possibly stun them. 
and they're gonna take some damage. All right, so I'll, I'll I'll do this, then the valor, then the stun. Yeah, let's let's do the wave. Okay, accept and save. Because I'm paranoid about losing progress. Justifiably so. All right. Then uh, before we go into the private lounge, um, I'm not sure I'm going to waste a battle stem or a shield because I don't know what's going to be there. But force points regenerate. So let's go ahead and get that bump. Hi. Oh, seriously. That, that was very unfair. Okay. <laughs> All right. What do we got in here? Anybody? Oh, oh! I didn't loot these dispensers because I wasn't here to loot these dispensers. Let's uh, let's get those chemicals so I can make some more med packs later. <laughs> make up for all the uh, force stems I've used. All right. Um, what say you? Please, I beg you, do not harm us. Calm down. I mean, you no harm. Where is Visquis? I'm looking for a corn. Have you seen him? Tell me where your master is, or you'll be corpses. No, that that's not what I've been doing. Calm down. I ain't gonna hurt you. We wish no more trouble. There's a root at the back of the spa. You will find what you're seeking there. I wonder if I can get a team now. Our master, his private chambers are beneath the Jek Jek Tar. He goes there for privacy. For privacy. Uh, then get out of here now before I kill you. No, get to safety. I'll handle your master. Have you seen a red-haired girl? Leather, lots of attitude. Um, let's first try this persuade and see if there's anything else I should know. There's a maze of tunnels that lead to his chamber. Old ventilation ducts connected to the docks. Ah. They are filled with toxins, with gas lethal to humans. If you do not find your way through them in time, you will die. Nah. And even if you made it through, he has an entire clan of bodyguards, Ubes, Ubis, that serve him. You must be careful. And even if you made it... Okay. Uh, great. They <laughs> hit Jadine more than a... Up to me to finish the job. Alright, so maze, poison gas, guards. Be careful, as guards are expecting you. I think they have been setting this trap for a long time. How did he know I was going to be back? I didn't know I was going to be back. Uh, have you seen a red-haired girl? Leather, lots of attitude. Yes, she came here. She did not know of all the traps the Viscous has in this chamber. And she was caught by surprise. <gasps> oh no. Wait. Uh, where, where's the option to ask about a Jedi with an 80 stash and a mullet? No? That's not an option? That's not an option here. Alright, um, then get to safety. I'll handle your master. Light side points gained. Duh. All right, there's my door. But first, I want to make sure I've gotten everything out of here that I can. Like, uh, five more chemicals out of here. And is that all of them? All right, that appears to be all of them. Oh, wait, no, there, there was a dispenser in here? No? Okay, nope. I guess that's it. Uh, are they all going to say the same thing? Okay, no, yeah. going to be, I beg you, do not harm us. I beg you, do not harm us. Okay. I ain't going to hurt you. Don't worry. Not going to hurt you. I know I just saved like a few minutes ago, but I'm going to go ahead and save again. It never hurts. Okay. Then, uh, let us begin the Jek Jek Tard Tunnels. Um, what is this going to do? All right, I still got to do the crafting lightsaber thing, but I can't get to Beodur until I finish the the streamlined on the head. Um, you encountered, yada yada. That's for L. Okay. That appears to be it. 
I thought there was more than that. And what is flashing over here? I really... Okay. Uh, the Bothan Droid Disruptor. That's a rifle that does 2 to 11. That might be nice for somebody that's actually using a rifle, but I don't I don't have any rifle specialists. They're, they're either single pistol or dual wielding. Huh. Oh, Mandalorian Battle Armor. That is a heavy armor. Plus... All right, a defense bonus of 11, no max dex, <laughs> and some damage resistance, 25 versus electrical. Yeah. And, and so, some hefty, uh, some hefty heavy armor there, too. I, I have a funny feeling that I will get a Mandalorian in the party at some point, so maybe I will keep one of those two heavy armor suits just in case. I do, I probably ought to look at the wiki and see, uh, what other crew I will be accumulating. All right. Dun, dun, dun. This is your stronghold. It is well hidden. Yes, and impossible to enter if I do not wish it. So I choose my visitors carefully and my victims. Oh, you tell that to everybody, don't you? We may talk freely here as we did in the Jack Jack Tar. It is my home stocked with my soldiers far from Godo's eyes. Mm hmm. You trust this clan of obese to walk among you? Even through their environmental suits, they smell of hate barely controlled. You can tell that, huh? They obey my orders, as do you. <laughs> well, you get news. They are well trained, no discipline, and despise Jedi. Yeah, I think you've been planning this for a while. All that unpleasantness with the Republic bombing their world into a radioactive ball, you know. Such a tragedy, and from such tragedies, weapons and tools are forged. <laughs> are you calling them a bunch of tools? You trust in their hate, not their skill. They cannot be controlled. The Jedi will murder them. Those seem like two separate issues. Curious, you sound almost hopeful, Hanhar. Or is it concern I detect? Regardless, you presume too much. The clan has dedicated themselves to revenge against all Jedi. Their will is focused on training to hunt and to kill them. The Jedi will kill them all. It will be quick, I think. <laughs> oh, it certainly will. These beasts know battle, but they do not know war as the Jedi does. I'm not sure that's the distinction you think it is, but okay. We shall see. Indeed we shall. Dun, dun, dun. But come, Hanhar, I have a gift for you as a show of good faith. It will give us something to divert our time while we wait for the Jedi. There's the buzz of static from your map screen. It looks as if the interference in the tunnel is, is scrambling the map. Oh, Goody. So, uh... Yeah. Okay. I see how it is. I get to wander these hallways with no map. So I got nothing but doors and no map. Um... Let me go ahead and save my progress yet again. Because... I don't want to have to listen through that every time because so, I get a funny feeling we might end up hitting a, a reset or two, um, which you'll see in the next episode if you're watching on YouTube. If you're watching live, we've still got eh, two more episodes worth that we're going to record. So uh, hang tight and and then we'll uh, record episodes 65 and 66, which if you want to know the future, you can watch live Fridays at 6 p.m. U.S. Eastern. Well, that was fun. Unless I just died. Then it was a little less than fun. I hope you've enjoyed. I hope you're having fun. And if you want to watch live, you can follow along on Twitch. I live stream the recording of the next six episodes at least once a week. I might even throw in some bonus content here and there if time allows. And you'll find the link in the description below. Also, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. That way you'll get notified when new episodes go up, live stream archives from some of my other stuff, and various and sundry other videos. Because I do more than just this. 
And if you want to get notifications, don't forget to hit the bell. And if you really, truly enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and all that good fun stuff. If you have any questions, queries, quips, scopes, comments, complaints, or other whatnot, don't forget to leave those in the comments down below. Lastly, if you're enjoying the show, if you're getting some value out of it, then consider giving a lot of value back. Go to live.anonjunior.com. It'll take you to the Streamlabs page where you can tip or donate, however you want to think about it. And there's no preset amount because this is a straight up value for value proposition. So if you're getting value out of the show and you would like to give a little value back, even if it's just enough for a cheap cup of coffee, then uh, consider going, giving a little bit, especially if it tickled the nostalgia or opened your eyes to a new game that you might play. And uh, with all that said and done, we're, uh, we're going to cut out, have fun, enjoy, and I'll see you next time.